For teachers and students, South Carolina's learning environment is changing. Digital tools now have a significant role in classroom and virtual delivery. Even before the pandemic, the educational environment had evolved in some districts. Digital tools, software platforms, and exponential growth in the number of resources were redefining the learning environment. Within the classroom, teachers could use devices and a learning management system to plan and deliver instruction in a much more personalized and differentiated way. Students could see assignments, engage in activities, both individually and in groups, and receive feedback within the LMS. And the resources available in digital formats expanded opportunities, deepened the learning, and created more engaging visuals. The pandemic forced many districts into this learning environment without all the necessary elements in place. In some cases, it was like building a plane in flight. As we emerge from the pandemic, let's push a reset button and examine how this digital instruction ecosystem is built and why it is good for teaching and learning. Review your own digital instruction ecosystem and see what is solidly in place and what areas need to be supplemented or strengthened. First, examine the vision and leadership surrounding digital instruction. Leaders must set the expectations and allocate resources to this new learning environment. Financial planning and budgeting are necessary to build and maintain. Commitment to staff support and professional development are also essential. Leaders must also communicate with stakeholders, board members, community leaders, principals, and teachers. Everyone must know and understand how these new tools are used in the classroom and sometimes on inclement weather days. Next, the technical infrastructure must be in place. The framework for building engaging lessons, differentiated and personalized learning is built on the right platforms working together. Every district needs a learning management system which creates the teacher-student connection. Students and teachers need devices available for frequent use. A powerful, robust learning object repository serves as a curated mega-library for resources to be used in lessons. South Carolina is building this powerful, robust LOR called the Instruction Hub. Finally, everyone must commit to growth and support in human resources and professional development. Many departments are included in building a digital instruction ecosystem. Teachers, support staff, technology staff, building level leaders, and district office personnel. Each of these groups must be a fluent contributor to the overall implementation. Relevant, engaging, and flexible professional development must be an ongoing endeavor. Why is this digital instruction system so necessary in the classroom or a virtual environment? Digital tools complement the teacher's experiences and planning. The resources expand the student's learning opportunities and a systems approach provides a more equitable access for districts and schools with few resources. Bringing the right platforms together creates an environment which can provide whole group or small group instruction. Through the learning management system and learning object repository, teachers can personalize or differentiate assignments and activities. Ultimately, the digital instruction ecosystem supports more student engagement and higher achievement, and it saves teacher planning time. Using model lessons, easily accessible resources, and collaborating with peer teachers, the search and building time is reduced. Building and growing the digital instruction ecosystem brings teaching and learning together in new ways that serve students and teachers better.